Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. So for this project here, um, the technique I'm going to use is a slab technique. And I want to show you how to do that. I'm going to start out with a piece of clay. And notice I have two rulers here. I don't know if you guys can see that well. Two rulers. And I did this because I want these slabs to be the thickness of the two rulers together. So I'm going to put the two rulers to the side here and get my clay and just smash it down a little bit on the canvas. Now remember, it's going to be on a canvas. You want canvas under um, your clay because if I did this on the table, it would stick. It would stick to the table, and we don't want that. Okay, so I'm just rolling this out, and I'm pushing down hard. Now, if you don't have a rolling pin, uh, a piece of pipe will work. Anything round like this, I mean, you might even be able to use like a, a, a paint can, you know, um, like a spray paint can might work, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to make some, um, some squares out of clay, and I'm just going to take my knife and my ruler. Notice how I use my ruler to get a nice, clean, sharp edge. And I'm going to cut that right off of there. Okay, I can measure this down, or if I want to eye it up, I could just eye it up. Um, but if you're going to eye it up, just make sure you do a good job. But you could measure it, or you could make a template. If you wanted to, you could make a template. Out of some cardboard or poster board or even a piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to cut this off square. And then... I've got to make the other edge here. And again, I'm just going to eye this up, make it the size I think I want. And I think this size looks pretty good. If I don't like it, I can always cut it down. So I've got a nice slab. Look at this slab right here. Same thickness, nice square slab. Okay. And I'm going to take that slab and just put it right on top. Whoops. Put it right on top of this. Make another one. Same size. Now I need four the same size. And I'm going to take this and make another one. So I got three of them now. Three the same size. And I could just put them over to the side right here. And I get a little bit more clay. I can take this extra clay I have and just kind of smush it in here. Now, remember, this has to be plastic, this clay. If it is leather hard, which means it's dried out a little bit, okay, it may not be as workable. But I don't want it so dry um, that it um, <clears throat> doesn't cut well, doesn't attach well. It has to be, I mean, it has to be moist. I want it, I want it to be plastic, and I don't want it to be too plastic, too wet, and I don't want it to be too dry where I can't, cut it and join two pieces without it maybe breaking. So um, you have to have it in exactly the right condition. Not too dry, not too wet. And I know it's hard to judge that, but um, you know, when you're working with slabs, it's a little nicer to have it a little bit dry. But again, um, if it's so dry that when you join two pieces, they will not join together, then that's a real problem. Okay. So I've got a piece here, and I'm going to go ahead and draw my straight line along here with the ruler. Notice I use a ruler. I'm not just freehanding it. I can't draw a straight line, perfect straight line without that ruler. So I have to, um, I have to kind of, you know, use the ruler and be careful with the ruler. Okay, I need another piece just like this. So I'm just going to put it right on top. And I could use a ruler for this too if I wanted to. But I think I'm okay with this one because I'm using this piece as a guide. Okay, so now I've got four of these. That's good. Okay, now I need some pieces for the top and bottom. So I'm going to try to get those pieces for the top and bottom. 
And I'm just taking my clay that I have cut off, kind of smushing it together. Remember not to make air pockets. And again, I'm using my rulers. And I'm just going to take my rolling pin and roll this right out. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. Now I could put my slab together because I've got more my four pieces. And I could take these four pieces and start putting them on my slab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice edge really quickly. Nice clean edge. Nice and straight. Get rid of this extra clay. Don't need that. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and also make, make a nice edge. Hopefully it's nice and square. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this edge here is I'm going to put these pieces on this and I'm going to attach them. And to do that, I want to score it. Remember, we want to score. If you score it, it will stick together better. If you don't, maybe it falls apart and maybe it doesn't, maybe it does, but you'll have much better success if you just score it. Especially if maybe if it's not quite in the right stage, Notice I'm putting a little slip on this. There we go. A little bit of slip. And then I'm going to take my slab and press it in here pretty good on the edge. Just make sure it's even with the outside. And I press it right down. Okay. Got that. <clears throat> Now I'm going to get my next slab and the next slab, I got to make sure we got the right size. I'm going to score, score the bottom and see, we're just roughing it up. I like to use, um, I like to use the fork. It works really well and then get a little bit of slip. My slip is a little gooey. Sometimes I like to put it in the blender and blend it up. It works really well if I do that. Um, but I haven't done it yet. So this will be fine though, does the same thing. Okay, I also want to score right here. I have to score the edge. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. And I've scored all the edges. I put some slip on there. Okay, here we go. And I lined it up. I want to really line it up carefully. Okay, so now let's do the next one. Now the next one, we're not gonna put um, even with this one here, we're gonna put it right next to this. And you'll notice it sticks out a little bit here because the next one we will put up against this one just like this, so it'll be like this. So it goes on the end and then it goes on the side. For each of them, it goes on the end and the side. That's how we wanna do it. So, <clears throat> I can go ahead and if I want to, I know how big it's going to be. I could probably draw my line and cut this. These knives are just cheap little knives that I got from the dollar store and they work really good with clay. They're not too sharp, which is okay. 
and um, got to make sure I got the right side here. Yep, that's good. And I really like them for this because they're not, like I said, they're not too sharp. They're just perfect for clay. They just really work. I can't imagine cutting food with them. But I'm not worried about that because I'm not going to cut food with them. So I'm going to score this up good. Get a little slip. Put some slip on there. This slip really helps. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna score this. Okay, I got a little bit of slip on it already. Well, I'm scoring it. I'm gonna score right here, and I'm gonna score right here. I got to score several places on this one. That's gonna go right in there. So I need to score this, this. And right here. A little bit of slip in there. Okay, so I've got it started here, and I could use the ruler to kind of keep the edges nice and straight, and I can blend it with this a bit and clean up the edges there. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could get a tool in on the inside, and on the inside I could, you know, blend these edges together on the inside if I think I need to. And, um, you know, if you've got a tool to do that, the popsicle stick is a good thing to use, um, but you can use a lot of things. It doesn't have to be a popsicle stick. Okay, so now we need to put the top on. We need to enclose it. So I'm going to score this up, put some slip on it. Okay, so now I've got this, and I can put it right on this. And so I know that I want these edges scored. And I've already got some slip on that, so I'm going to kind of figure out where I need to score here. Okay, so let's see what we got here. 
I'm going to put it right on there. And I can take the knife. Maybe I should clean it a little bit. And I can... If you've got a little extra clay on there, don't be afraid to cut it off. And what I want to do is I probably want this to firm up a little bit so that I can work it. Because right now it is awful plastic, which is good, you know, to join the pieces together. But also it makes it harder to manage. So maybe a little bit more leather hard would be a little bit better. Um, I like it this way when I'm putting two pieces together and then I don't like it when I'm trying to shape it because it's easier to shape when it's a little more leather hard. So for now, I'm just going to let this um, dry out a little bit. I want it to firm up a little bit so I could smooth it better. And um, I'll be able to clean up these edges and make this a lot neater and cleaner um, once it's a little bit more dry. But because it's so plastic here, it's got too much moisture in it to work the shaping it. Um, it needs to be a little drier. Now, I don't want to make it too dry because I need to attach clay to this still. But I needed to make sure that we're not going to, it's not going to collapse. So it's got to be firm enough that it will hold up. And um, soft enough that I can still attach pieces with no problem. Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit and dry a little bit and then I can smooth it and, and shape it a little bit better and clean it up because right now it's just too fragile to to mess with okay so I'm just going to let it sit in the air for I don't know probably the rest of the class period and then I'll put it in my bag and then I'll come back next time we meet and I'll continue from here